Welcome to my little shop. And I have a YouTube channel, by the way. Oh, I saw that. And uh, now you're on now you're now on YouTube, if that's okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm a female chainsaw person. That's right. All right. I'm working on a Champion. I believe it's a 40cc, yes, 40cc chainsaw. Really hard to start. I checked the plug. Somebody put the wrong plug into it, and I got the right plug. It, it, the size is okay, but I don't know. I put it in the one that the book says. And now we're going to just do a pressure test on this carburetor. My knowledge on this has, has improved since uh, I've been following Leon's from Leon Small Engines. And I'm going to just pressure up this carburetor. Now you'll notice right away here, this carburetor's leaking like a, whoop, I guess it's leaking because my hose came apart. I wonder if it's leaking out of the vent. No, it's slowly leaking. Can you see that? So I'm going to dip it, see where it's leaking from. Yeah, it's coming out of one of the vent holes and it's not supposed to. Well, that's cool. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. I actually had this thing running, and not that badly. But, it's leaking. So let's just see if we can find out why. You think I can find a new ga a, a new gasket for that? Let's just. I'm gonna turn you off, and I'm gonna have a. Well, I don't wanna turn you off. But we're gonna have a look. All right, my friends. Can you believe it's still furnace weather out there? Have you guys ever used these types of diaphragms that come with the wall bro instead of the the uh, fine rubber ones like? Like that? that? That's no good anymore. Well, we're going to rebuild this little carburetor. So I've got, this is perfect, right there like that. All right. And then we have the, the gasket that goes on top. Like that. And then the cover. But I might as well take the rest of it apart. And we might as well give her a new diaphragm too, eh? The uh, metering diaphragm. She's pretty knowledgeable. She told me 41, 40 to 1 on the gas, and I thought, oh man, I don't know. And I go and I pull up the PDF for this machine, and it says, by golly, it says 40 to 1. But I, just by looking at the plug, it was a little red. So uh, I might just mix up my own little thing of fuel here, I don't know. I'm not there yet. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm just going to do a little squirt in here. I'll be right back. Nothing major? Well, you know what? Yes, we're going to do it major. I've got the right spline for this. And I just want to see where they're set. We'll start up here. There we go. Okay, so we're one, two, three, three and a half on the H. That seems like too much to me. 
I did a quick carb clean while she was here and it didn't help. But now I see this carburetor is leaking. Eh? So. H and L. See where it's set. One, two, two. I'm not happy with either one of those settings. I know I make myself laugh sometimes. So our screen is in, but I did not see flow. So I'm going to just pop this little needle, needle and seat out again. I want to see flow through that hole. Oh yeah. Good. First, the needle. Oh, I did dislodge that a little tiny bit, the screen. Okay. I'm rested, so this should work. All right, back to the drawing board here. Boy, this is a small carburetor. Okay, I'm going to drop that down with that knife on the edge of the needle. Ah! Yeah. All right, I got the uh, I got the cover on with the diaphragm, the new diaphragm that was the brown color, the beige color. And I'm just going to pressure test this carburetor again, because before it, it leaked like an old boat. Hey, baby. Kick up to seven, even. Six. I bet you we have a working carburetor now. Now, I'm not taking credit for any of this, although you could take credit for learning something. But. Uh, I've had so much trouble with two-stroke carburetors, but ever since I found Leon's channel, man, and pressure testing them before you even start, like on here, let's just pressure test it again, or pressure it up, you know, you know it's good, and as soon as you touch the tiny little needle valve here, this one, the pressure should go away, right? So we're pressured up to five pounds, and I press this, and it drops, right? See that? So I've been told in the world of YouTube experts that that is now a sealed carburetor. And I'm going to put this is I'm going to put a new I'm going to put a new diaphragm and possibly a a new gasket on there. They're not that hard to find. And there's one right there. I have a compare here. This is hers. Jen. Okay, that doesn't get any better than that. Now we're going to put a new. Oh, it's not bad, you know. Looks okay. I'm just going to check the height of this little nub here. It's the same. I'm going to use a new one. She's getting the whole treatment here. Good. Oh, that's lovely. Now, when it goes in like that, uh, like that, and let's choke. Yeah. So that goes in like that. What kind of angle? I'll be right. Is that going to work? Yes, it will. Thrill. Okay, let's do this up. 
and we'll pressure test it again. A rebuilt carburetor. Now, do I go get a big chunk of cardboard or do I test it inside? <laughs> Outside, I mean. I'm just going to start these screws and see if I'm in the right zone for it fitting on. Come on, baby. So I don't lose anything, is all. Okay. So the drain is there. You got her with one hole, two holes. That gasket actually doesn't look that bad. Where's my right there? And let's just give this a little bit of a clean. come back and assemble this. All right, we are looking at this chain. Oh, yeah, we're looking at this chainsaw. I've just laid the, the carburetor back in and I've got the rear seal on. The whole thing is still uh, got to be lined up. It's, it, it's quite a sensitive thing. Where's my uh, Torx screwdriver? <coughs> Nope, oh, that's a Phillips. There we go. Let's just see if we can start getting some threads to bite here. I'm just going to have a little look with the light and see if I'm lined up. No, I'm not. So we need a small screwdriver so the back plate is not, is not square. There, that's better. So if we, I think we have to lift and tilt the whole thing. Uh, it was running so lean because I think this input block was loose. That's why the spark plug was red and all the screws were out two turns. There's a lot to this little saw. Now, do I need this? Yes, I need to have this in. That's okay, we're there now. I just felt it go click, and I was wondering if it wasn't set before. Of course, they take forever, right? There we go. Pull those out. Good. Okay, now let's lay this in. With that up. I'll show you what I'm looking at here. If you can even see it. This rubber thing right here. And then that block there is really sensitive. reminds me of a Honda gasket. Okay, do we have a gasket through and a gasket through? Yes. Okay. Let's do it up. I think we got it. Are we lined up flush on the block? As flush as can be, I think. Oh yeah, we are there. Sorry to put you through this, guys. Oh. And there should be one more screw left for this vertical one. <laughs> Whew. I think she's going to run, though, guys. Rebuilt carburetor. Realigned intake manifold block. I think that was a part of the problem. 
We still have to uh, install the choke. Oh dear. <laughs> and the choke re and the pulse return guy. But I think I can do it with a straight, with a straight set of hemostats. Okay, so I looked online. Here we go, you can uh, look at me now. I looked online and Billy Buck, and it's kind of a fun name, eh? he knows chainsaws. And the way he's going to set the L and the H is he, do, he takes the idle right out of the picture and then he adjusts the L for smoothness and then just back off to a minor rich. And then he adjusts, you don't want to adjust the H all the way because you'll over rev the saw, I knew that. And so I'm going to try that, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in the garage or outside. Although I don't want to drive the neighbors crazy, so I'll be with you in a bit. All right, my friends, here, let's just use my new tripod. The idle screw is turned right out. The low screw is only got one and a half turns and it should run uh, right out of the gate, we hope. So let's do this. I'm doing it on a piece of cardboard because these are messy creatures. Choke, oh, let's do the whole. That's enough of that battle. The chain's been sharpened. That was a tough one. I uh, I really struggled with the intake manifold on the carburetor. Have you guys had, I mean this is a champion. It's not a steel or a Husk, Husqvarna. So anyway, that's how life it goes, right? So thanks a lot for watching this one guys. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.